preview. President Trump is preparing for war. He has canceled his South American trip. He'll be sending Vice President Mike Pence to South America. The president is going to stay home to oversee the American response to Syria. In other words, he's preparing for war. He had all of the top generals in the office yesterday, and then they go and raid his lawyer's office and hotel room. The president is getting ready to respond. The United Nations are going to be debating the situation today. And Trump has announced he has canceled his trip to South America. Instead, Vice President Mike Pence will go. President Donald Trump canceling his scheduled trip to multiple South American countries, originally planned for this week. But the White House is saying, in a statement, Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said the president will not attend the 8th Annual Summit of the Americas, which is held in Lima, Peru. Nor will he travel to Bogota, Colombia, as originally scheduled. Vice President Mike Pence will make the trip in Trump's steed uh, in his stead. And uh, the White House said Trump will stay in the United States in order to, quote, oversee the American response to Syria and to monitor developments around the world. This is a clear indication that a military operation is in process. Trump prepares for war. And the surprise change to an event scheduled for later this week came amid Trump's continued effort to negotiate trade deals and his continued anger over the special counsel Russia's probe and recent raid on his personal lawyer's residence and office. Trump met with military officials in the White House last night to deliberate over the administration's response to the alleged chemical weapons attack carried out by Syrian President Bashir al-Assad's government against its own people. In comments to the press before the roundtable meeting began, however, Trump focused much more on the warranted search of the lawyer, Michael Cohen's office, and the residence, and the, uh, the, the morning that happened in, by the FBI which had reportedly received a referral from the special counsel, Robert Mueller. Trump called the raid disgraceful, a total witch hunt in his remarks. He says that uh, attorney-client privilege is dead in America and said the entire special counsel's probe of potential collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia is an attack on our country in a true sense. Ask if he would fire Mueller. Trump said, many people have said you should fire him. Again, they found nothing. And Trump's uh, also, uh, his hatred for the FBI's search of Cohen, who is being investigated for crimes possibly related to bank fraud and campaign finance violations, the Washington Post is reporting, was carried over on Twitter again this morning. Trump tweets, attorney, client, privilege, is dead. That was a tweet by President Donald Trump. So now some good news. China has conceded. Uh, China is actually conceding um, that on trade they're willing they're willing to make some concessions. So Trump has brought them to the table and they're now willing to make some concessions to keep Trump from implementing these tariffs. This could be a breakthrough because Trump's trying to create a level playing field for the American uh, import-export uh, that's so out of balance. Folks, you better hang on. Any moment, this war, this Trump war is going to break out. Yeah.